morning guys welcome back to the channel this morning I'm back at the or back on the Essex coast and uh, it's the first time today that we've had a little bit of sunshine and the sunshine that we've got is actually quite bright now but uh, at least we can see the Sun and today there's no exception to the rules here for Finwick Hole. It's absolutely stunning here today. Lots of wildlife about. Uh, we've got... I'll just see if I can show you. We've got a yacht that's coming really close up the estuary there. Just beautiful to see. see I'm down at the Kingfisher hide and the wind is really blowing that's why I haven't really had a chance to do much blogging this morning and with the amount of rain that we've actually had everything is absolutely flooded pathways is full of water really muddy and that's unusual for this place normally it's quite dry very good. Don't want to move around too much because as soon as I move then I'm directly into the wind. The only thing that's given me a bit of protection at the moment is this Kingfisher hide here. So what I'm going to do is move further down to the estuary hide and from there hopefully I'll be able to do a little bit more blogging and then tell you about one of the new fancy toys that I've got. Well, this is a bit disappointed. I was just going to go down to the Margaret Hyde, and unfortunately, we can't get any further because, uh, as I was saying just now, this whole area is quite flooded and it's flooded significantly down beside the Kingfisher Hyde here, and as you can see, going down to the Margaret Hyde. So that puts a little bit of a damper on things, but uh, no worries. One thing that I've always said about bird photography is have a plan B. And even here in this nature reserve, there's a plan B, which I'm going to go and do now, go and do one of the other hides that goes down to the marsh on the opposite side of the visitor center and then if we've got time we can still go to Aberton down to the causeway and I've never been to the second causeway there so that's something that I'm very interested in doing so uh, let's make our way back and uh, see what else we can see
the ring on his neck. I, have, I haven't seen it that closely. Is a little bit too much in the shade, but all the uh, droppings that you've, all the seed that you've put down, is hoovering up. So it's nice to see these birds all mingling together. We've got chaffinches, we've got bullfinches, coltits. Blue tits. We've got a woodpecker over the back there. But one of the things that I wanted to show you guys is I've just purchased the R7. Getting rid of the 90D because it was actually lacking in certain things that I wanted to. To do so I took the the next step I went for the R7 it's not a badly priced camera this one I managed to get for about 1,400 pounds it's another 118 pounds for the EF to RF converter then I this is not a Canon um, Two times converter it's a standard one but it's quite an expensive one for what it is and then that is going on to the 100 to 400 lens and it's working absolutely perfectly it's uh, I've set it for the animals and eye tracking and even at 800 millimeters it's locking on to the subjects really well so I'm really, really pleased with it, the, the whole lot. And it's just a matter now of getting more experience with the camera, learning the buttons that's on the back, learning the, all the other features, because the buttons that's on the back of this camera are totally different to the 90D. So it's going to take a good bit of uh, work to be able to get used to. But this is the first time that I've really taken it out to be able to put it through its paces. Everything else, because of the weather conditions this week, has been really bad. And um, just nice to be able to get out and about again a nice sunny day. I think from next week we've got more rain that's coming through. We've already had about 40% more rain in this Essex area than we've had in the last couple of years. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to go now down to Abberton and see what we've got there. Hi guys, I've actually, um, I've come up to the causeway now and the wind is absolutely pumping through. That um, the reservoir looks like it's the North Sea. All you need is a couple of gannets diving in and out and it'd be ideal conditions. <laughs> but anyway, at least the sun's out. That's brightened my day up, but unfortunately, not an awful lot of birds either on the causeway. There was uh, two great crested grebes that I got a little bit of video footage from, but every single time that I um, started the video, then they would dive down all the time. Very difficult to time it. 
and with having a new camera it's very difficult to be able to find all the buttons but that I'm sure is gonna get a lot better so anyway guys as I say um, come down to the causeway not an awful lot but what I've done I've tested the camera out a little bit got some nice shots I think of the great crested grebe and there was a couple of other ducks a lot of gulls on the opposite side of the causeway where I was busy using the tracker of the birds in flight and it seems to be holding up really well this new R7 in this light it's very difficult to see anything from the back of the camera but once I've put it on the computer I'll be able to see a lot better sorry about the noise guys as I say uh, I'm on the causeway and I've got a tendency to actually speed here so anyway guys hope you've enjoyed what you've seen today and uh, I'll see you guys next time please if you've got the time just subscribe click the little bell icon for all notifications and hopefully I've said something today that might interest you and uh, for the other videos that is in the future hopefully there'll be something of interest there for you as well so cheers guys have a great day and uh, got the Grand Prix to look forward to this afternoon so let me get on my bicycle cheers